Hey everybody, thank you so much for choosing to watch Life's Magical Journey. I'm Life, and on this channel we talk all about my journey with being a deliberate creator, purposely using the law of attraction, and how that led to my spiritual journey. Now, on today's video, we are going to be talking about how I lost lots of money and got it back. So if you want to hear all about how I was able to use law of attraction to get my money back, stay tuned. So I used to be in what's called gifting groups or family circles or susus, whatever you want to call them. Well, that just means that you gift in a certain amount of money and you wait your turn and then eight people come in and they gift you that amount of money. So you get eight times that amount and it's a gifting circle, right? So you use Cash App for that type of thing or you use PayPal for that type of thing. So I was in these gifting groups and that's how I used Bay Leaves to manifest about $10,000. Most of it came from these gifting groups that I was in. And so I had about $3,000 in two different cash apps. So I had $2,700 in one cash app and I had $300 in another cash app. Well, apparently I violated cash apps terms of service because they closed both accounts. So that was in September, the end of September. Well, I looked into it. Of course, I researched, like, how do I get my money? I tried sending it to different accounts. I tried adding different debit cards. I tried everything I thought within my power to get this money back, okay? And the research I was doing showed me that so many people had money stuck in Cash App. So I thought to myself, hmm, I'm probably not getting this money, okay? So everything within me said, they have no intention on giving me this money. So I, I thought to myself, what should I do? My intuition told me to just back off of it. Take the path of least resistance and just call it a, call it a, call a spade a spade. Like if you're not going to get the money, there's no use in like worrying about it or dwelling about that negative thing. To me, that was a substantial amount of money to lose at that time and just go about my business but that was the path of least resistance for me so I used I use what I know in law of attraction focus on what you do have be grateful for what you do have and don't focus on the negative things right so I literally just put that away I put it in the back of my mind and not forgot about it but I didn't take the opportunity to worry about it I guess I oftentimes with within that three months because I because I when I was researching I researched and I found out that they could hold your money like if you violate their terms of service they could hold your money from 30 to 90 days so that was end of September and I figured okay by end of December I'm gonna be able to get my money well they didn't send me my money Okay, I, I made sure my cash app information was updated. I made sure my Gmail, my, they had my email. I made sure they had my correct address. Kid you not, when I went into my account, my address had been changed. My email wasn't in there. So I, I know for a fact that they had full intentions on keeping my money. Somehow, I don't know why they would change my account information, but they did because they put a whole different street name. They had my numbers right, but they put a different street name and they they took my email off of it. So I know that I updated it on purpose and they changed it because I didn't change it. Well, so nevertheless, like around the end of December, like today is December 31st, Happy New Year's Eve. And around December 23rd or so, I was thinking, okay, I should probably get a check in the mail from Cash App because this is the 90 day period. Like they can't really keep my money, right? So the Cash App thing was again on my head. So one day something told me like, just start researching it again. So all the research I did that day said, you can get the money, you can get the money. And so I was like, I can get the money. So I went ahead and followed the instructions that it said. It said to add a different card, add a different debit card, which 
as I just said, I had tried that. I had tried so many different things to get this money, okay? But on that day, it was just in my head. I knew that I could somehow, I just knew I could get the money. So I went ahead and I used a different debit card that they, they hadn't been aware of this debit card. I had never used this debit card before. Well, I put the card in and it worked. I was able to get my $3,000 back. So I'm saying all this to say to you guys that no doesn't mean no. No usually means not right at this moment, but what you need to do with that is you need to focus on what you do have. Focus on being grateful, move forward. If you need to put things to the side for a minute and not focus on it or not give it your energy like I, would, like I did with that $3,000, then that's what you need to do. Meditate on things. Figure out what your path of least resistance is going to be around that specific subject. Listen to your own intuition. My intuition told me, back up off of that because you are not going to, this is not the right time. You're going to use this to, it's going to be a negative. Maybe you'll fall back into depression because $3,000 could make you or break you sometimes if you're in a certain situation. Okay, so. I followed my intuition and I just put it to the side. So guess what? That money came right on time. You guys know if you've been following any of my videos, then you know for a fact where I am like with regard to like I'm not working. Um, I need this money to come through right when it did. I need this money to come through right when it did. So now was the right time for me to get that $3,000, not back then. You see what I'm saying? So all I'm telling you guys is that if you focus on what's positive, if you are grateful for what you do have and sometimes leave the negative alone, yeah, it's true. Yeah, that money was stuck in there, but I didn't use that as a, um, I didn't use that as a reason to be focused on negativity on something that was obviously like bad or a negative thing so now that money was able to come back to me right on time and I'm telling you like they must have reopened my account on the back end type of thing because initially they were not allowing me to get that money I tried to transfer that money to so many different debit cards and so many different accounts or whatever they were not giving me that money. They opened it back up, but they didn't tell me. And they changed my address and everything. They probably figured like, hey, you ain't checked on this in a minute. You're not worried about it. We're going to change your address. We're going to keep your money. I don't know what they were thinking, but God was thinking something else. Okay? My God don't play no games about me. And so that's what, that's what I'm telling you. When you live in that you're going to find nothing but success. Even if some negative things come up. You know what I mean? Negative things are going to continue to come up in our lives. We have to make choices. And the choices you make now are going to gauge how your future unfolds. And so what I did back then in September made this happen now at the end of December. I lost a lot of money, but I got it back using what I know of Law of Attraction. I promise you that you can do the same. You are powerful. You are more powerful than you know. And so if you listen to that, and, and I know you probably just, you felt that, didn't you? You felt when I said that, you know that you're powerful. You know that you have it in you to do the exact same thing or greater. Use, use your power to attract greatness into your life. I guarantee you can do it. I, spam the comments with your success stories because I know we're going to have a lot of success stories out there. I know you're going to want to share with us the things that you've been able to materialize and make happen for yourself even in the midst of negative things. Even even in the midst of what is going on here hold on y'all okay we're back that was my daughter i had to answer that but nevertheless even in the midst of negative things guys you are going to succeed you are going to prevail okay as long as you keep your heart and mind positive right so I'm, I'm happy that you guys have watched to the end thank you so much I appreciate you if you're new to the channel hang out a while go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the notification bell of course so that you can be notified when I upload videos I'm so grateful for each and every one of you hitting the like commenting down below and just being an active member of this channel 
Thank you so much. And as usual, see you next time. Thank you.